It's book club suggestion day and we are so excited to welcome our new sponsor, the New Orleans Public Library. We have Robin Goldblum, Head of Adult Learning and Education Programming, and Amy Wander, Head of Youth Programming with our picks this month. Hey guys. Hi. Hey. Thank y'all so much for joining us and for bringing some good picks for kids and adults. What's the first one for kiddos? Right, so this is School Trip and School Trip is a graphic novel by Jerry Craft and it's his, Jordan is in eighth grade now, and he gets there on a class trip to Paris. Yes, please. Cool. So they get to navigate <laughs> the museums and the sights and the sounds and the art, and Jordan's an artist, so he's all about this, but it's not all fun at the trip to Paris because they do have to have some serious conversations about what makes a good friend. And this book here, School Trip, is a companion to New Kid, okay. which is also by the author. And it was the first graphic novel to win the Newbery Award for Children's Literature. What age group would that be good for? Because so I can see it's in eighth grade, so a little younger, usually like a younger middle school. Is okay, yeah. Thing? So like yeah. middle school to, to junior high school would be a great uh, read. School Trip. Okay, and you have one more Max Meow, <laughs> Attack of the Zombies. Exactly. So this is a fast-paced, science-forward, zany book with super-powered cat and his best friend, Mindy, also known as Science Kitty. And <laughs> it's a great read like for fans of Dogman or Investigators or Bad Guys. They're all super popular right now. Sure. And when we talk about graphic novels for the younger elementary school kids, um, not only are they fun books oftentimes and have great images, but then you can also think of kids that maybe are a little intimidated by reading or struggling readers. Graphic novels are a great choice for them. And in this book, each of the chapters ends with a cliffhanger and some questions. And so it's great conversation starters, wow. as well as some reading skills because you can work on predictions for the rest of the book. I love that. I love the end of chapter things. It really helps out parents who are trying to read with their yeah. kids to give them something to engage with as right. well. Okay, we have some adult picks too because the library has books for everyone. Um, what is The One Thing? The One Thing, the surprisingly simple truth behind extraordinary results is a book that is a meaningful read for those of us who are really trying to organize our big lives. Yes. And choosing what the big focus is in our world and how to approach those big focuses through the small approaches to really being able to grasp what needs to be done and moving forward with it. It's got great tips at the end of every chapter. We're actually advised on really how to move forward in moving our to-do list away and work towards success that rather sounds like than a to do. Great read here at the beginning of the year yeah. with everybody with these New Year's resolutions. Maybe start with the one thing, yes. a book to read. But we want you to join us reading our book club pick yes. of the month. Tell me about it. Kunstler in Paradise it's is like, a great story. It's a great story that um, talks to so many generations and cultures and communities. Um, it starts out in the World War II era. Okay. Um, there's a, a Jewish family in Vienna and they um, are leaving Nazi Germany. And we get a lot about their early story, but they are moving to Los Angeles where they will live in exile among other Europeans who have also left, who are artists. So they're moving into an artist community in Los Angeles. Okay. We have Mamie Kunstler, who we meet in the very beginning of the book when she's 11, and then we come to current day. She's 93, she's a violinist. Wow. And she lives in Los Angeles with her housekeeper, Agatha. Both of them um, are not able to really navigate around, so they're, their daughter, well, Mamie's daughter, has had her son come out to Los Angeles to help Mamie and Agatha. And Julian, the 20-something-year-old, comes out. He moves in with them to take care of them. To help his 93-year-old grandmother. Yes, and, and the pandemic happens. And so here oh, we so are. It really ties into modern day as it well. It really does. And so it really covers the spectrum from 1939 to present day. And it's a great story of relationship building, following your dreams, your passions, and really family. 
Amazing. Okay, well, real quick, we know that the library, that's going to be our pick of the month. So we want you all to join us uh, in reading that one and discussing it on social media. Um, but real quick, Amy, y'all have an important partnership coming up with the LASPCA. Right, yeah, we work with the Louisiana SPCA every month, and we've been doing a catter day. So it's just <laughs> what you think. There's fluffy cats and kittens and cat-themed crafts, as well as books to check out. And that's why I thought I'd talk about Max Meow today. Max Meow, <laughs> he will be there for catter day. Is that coming up this Saturday? It's this Saturday okay. at the Nora Navarro Library on St. Bernard, and it starts at 2 o'clock. So anyone that needs more information about that program or our other programs for school-age kids, they can visit nolalibrary.org. Perfect. Amy, thank you so much. And we also have programs for adults, uh, especially older adults who may be trying to figure out technology. Tell me a little about that. Yes. Um, anybody can contact the Adult Learning and Education Department through our New Orleans Public Library website. We have a platform called Book a Librarian. They can call in and ask specifically for the services that they're looking for, and we will either contact them back through the phone or email however they reach out to us and we can get them connected with the services and the interest that they're you know expressing that they want an amazing resource thank you guys so much for joining us really appreciate you remember you can pick up your book uh, or our book club pick, Kunstler's in Paradise, and all of the suggestions you heard today at the New Orleans Public Library. You can also join us on social media for our virtual book club as we read Kunstler's in Paradise this month.